Blessings to all of you beautiful beings. It's Elena and I'm enchanted to have you be here on my channel. Hello and welcome. I am so glad that you're here. If you're new, consider liking, subscribing, becoming part of my little YouTube family. And if you've been here before, hello and welcome back to each and every one of you amazing, fantastic, and beautiful souls right across the screen. Lots of love, lots of warm hugs, and hopefully you and yours are safe. On today's video is another which is Stop getting stuck. Witch's Moon unboxing. And this is for their January box of this year. I am unboxing it a little late. But let's just see what kind of goodies we have in here. So we have the Witch's Roots, the Witch's Moon, and the Witch's Bounty. These are all three tiers for the Witch's Moon subscription boxes. Um, these are monthly boxes with witchy goodies and it is one of my favorite subscriptions that I get. They are different uh, tiers at different price points but they also have different themes. So the witch's roots is based around a specific herb of the month and it has goodies curated around that. The witch's bounty is centered around a sacred pendant or a jewelry piece, usually a pendant, every single box I got is a pendant. So I'm assuming it's gonna continue being pendants and a couple goodies to go alongside with that. And then the Witch's Moon kind of has a little bit of everything and it's a great box to build up your witchy collections and things for your altar. So let's see what we have in here today. I'm excited. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. I'm always excited to open up their boxes. So I'm gonna start off with the Witch's Roots as per my routine when I do these unboxings. I have a whole playlist of quite a few years of me doing these boxes with them. Are you ready to see what's inside? Ta-da! So every box has something kind of similar, like a theme throughout there that they're known for. They always have an artwork, an oil or a spray, an incense of some sort, and a candle, but it's always curated towards the theme of each box. I have the information pamphlet here that will be read last. And I see up here we have a little oracle card reading. That, I'm gonna start off with this. See what it says. We have Parvati. This Hindu goddess of serenity offers you her protection, her grace, and her blessings. She is freeing you from sacrifice and resentment. With Par Par Parvati's help, you can balance the needs of others with what is vital for your own soul. Hmm, I like that. I will accept any blessings that I can get. All right, so for artwork, we have Bridget's Cross and Angelica. Ooh, Angelica is great to work with if you want to work with um, higher vibrations and higher vibrational entities. So that's always nice. Let's get you off to this. You're a little close. Okay, I'm going to show you both of these together. So they always have an artwork that corresponds with the root, or I'm sorry, with the plant of the month. And at times they have an extra piece like they do for Bridget's Cross here. Beautiful. I love their art. It is so like vintagey and witchy and I constantly talk about it. And yeah, there's that. All right. So since we have the Bridget's Cross artwork, we have a Bridget's Cross altar piece. Looks like it can be hung up or just placed. Very nice. Awesome. Then we have, this time we have a spray that I was talking about. I have built up quite a collection of their sprays and oils. I really need to incorporate them more often. 
Oh, this has a strong smell of clove. It smells good. I don't think I even need to open it. That's mainly what I'm smelling. Clove and other things. I cannot pinpoint what other things there is. It's like clove, but with sweetness. It smells nice. It smells very wintery. For obvious reasons. <laughs> Here's the oil or the spray. Awesome. Put that aside. Then, ooh, it appears we have tea. The passion berry flame. Oh, oh, I love fruity teas. Something with berries is always like right up my alley. Ooh. Oh, that smells like. It smells like a candy. That smells like a berry candy. Oh, that smells amazing. Nothing too exciting about a packaging, but here it is. Okay, I'm excited for that tea. That's going to be my next one to try. They always include a little burlap baggie that could be used for tea. Okay, then we have a crystal. We have a tumbled crystal. Who are you? I'm guessing it could be a jasper of some sort, but do not take my word for it. I like to guess, give it a try, see how close I can get. <laughs> and then I will tell you for sure once I read their information pamphlet. Okay, here is the herb, angelica root. Cool. I always love adding things to my collection that I use. It's great. All right, where's my little opening device? I know I'm gonna be doing unboxings. I prepared everything else for doing unboxings. Half the time, I forget that thing when I do my unboxings. It is such a nice red. That is a lovely red color. I always show these in my videos talking about these wax candles. They burn great and I love working with them. And if you hold them gently between your hands, if your hands are warm and warm up the wax a little bit, kind of loosens up and you can unroll it a little bit, that sort of thing. You can add herbs to it. You can anoint it this way. You can place an attention paper or you can unroll it all the way and combine two colors together if you want a double color candle or something with like more thickness. You can also do that. Last but not least, I believe it's last, right? Yes, we have frankincense and myrrh. Nice. Again, perfect for wintry weather. Hmm, that smells really good. I think I'm getting more of a frankincense smell than the myrrh. That smells nice. So here are the stinky sticks. And that is it for what's inside that box. I'm gonna tuck things away nicely. And we'll read all about the goodies we have. and see how close I got to that crystal. Okay. All right, so this is the Bridget Collection. Within this long awaited and unique collection, we work with the energies of the exalted goddess Bridget, casting our intentions under her broad reach of magical energies and comfort. As in bulk rests upon the horizon, we focus 
on our efforts on healing emotional and spiritual wounds, letting go of harmful associations, and shedding the skin of our previous selves. As we step through this beautiful process, we are reborn and revitalized, prepared for the coming of new life ahead. Join us in January as we work with exclusive handmade items that are sure to bring inspiration and lasting impressions. The magical items in this box are as follows. Angelica Root is associated with the Archangel Michael. It carries within the power to heal, banish negative energies, provide protection, and inspire courage during times of uncertainty and angst. Angelica Herbal Grimoire Artwork page. Then we have the exclusive Witch's Roots Handmade Bridget's Cross. It is made from recycled paper and the cords were hand rolled and then tied. Cool. So it is very, very handmade and very much made with intention. And you can feel it when you open these boxes, which is why I love these boxes, or at least one of the reasons why I love these boxes. And most of the things in them is handmade. Then we have the Passionberry Flame Ritual Tea with the muslin bag. Muslin, I keep calling it burlap. We have the Bridget Ritual Aura Spray that has clove, cinnamon, cedarwood, anise, sandalwood, and a special mixture of our Flama Magical Oil. Then we have Tumbled Muokite Stone. Ooh, it is a Muokite Jasper. Okay. 50% because Jasper has, you know, deviations of it, but I got pretty close. <laughs> it's a powerful facilitator of intuitive perception. Hello. That would be my dog getting comfortable next to me. Perception allowing us to activate the third eye and connect with the subtle earth energies that surround us. I don't think the earth energies around us are very subtle. Then we have Spark of Promise mini spell candle and personalized oracle card reading. Awesome. On to the big box. Let's see what we have in here. After I give my dog a cookie because she's going to be staring at me into my soul. So, my minor pause. Cookie has been given dog is happy. Moving on to the box. All right, so this is the Witch's Moon box. And let's see what we, come on up, what we have in here. Ta-da! More artwork. Yay! I love their artwork. Okay. Information pamphlet. And we have an oracle card reading for Black Obsidian. Cool. So on the front it says, I pay attention to what is going on around and within me. I am attentive. It goes, release negative thoughts, maintain attention on the present moment, increase situational awareness, improve responsible thoughts and actions. Very nice. I like that. Doesn't exactly associate with the crystals complete energies, but it's a good oracle card. All right, we have a couple pieces of artwork here. So we have two smaller pages and a larger page. Awesome. I can get it to cooperate with me. Please. Aha. And I see that we have a page on candle magic. Ooh, I love it. We have information on the colors, the weekdays, numbers, and simple observations. I like this. Definitely a good beginner page to have or like do research on because it has the colors, the correspondences of the week um, and that sort of thing, which is a very common type of tool to use throughout your practices. At least for me, I love to use candles, colors, 
wheel of the year correspondences as well as weather and numbers because all of those things are really easy to obtain and available pretty much anywhere. We also have manifestation sigils. Ooh. And bright of candlelight spell or incantation. I'm gonna show both of these at the same time. That is awesome. I like that. All right, on to, ooh. Okay, that was a little bit more exciting than this because it looked kind of cool, but we have three can candles. Um, would these be called votive candles? Candles in like different shapes and different sizes have different names and I don't remember like all of them. Maybe it'll say what name it is for this um, type of thing, but we have three of these simple white candles, which is great because white can be used for any type of spell work. Awesome. I'm not going to put that on the artwork because the wax could transfer over. Oh no! <laughs> we have lost a wick. That is funny. Stay. I fold you back over. Okay. Uh, afterwards, we have an oil. And it is called Enhance. Ooh, I like that. There's some herbs floating around in there. And let's give it a sniff and see what it smells like. What does Enhance smell? Something perfumey with like a little bit of citrus notes to it. It smells really nice. I like that. I really like the smell. It's like light perfumey with a little bit of citrusiness to it. It's a very, very nice smell. Then we have a salt bath called Eye of Gold. Cool. These are always nice to use. I like taking baths. Are you someone who likes to take baths or someone that does not like to take baths? I like to take baths, but I don't take them as often as I want to because they are a little bit time consuming, but they're very nice. We have pimento, bay leaf, and clove. Cool. Three different herbs. that one. We have bay leaf. And pimento. Cool. I see we might have a journal or book of some sort in there. Then we have Dragon's Blood Incense. It's usually its own type of smell, so I assume that's what it's gonna smell like. I am correct. I also don't think I need to show you stinky sticks because they look exactly the same as the other ones. We have a, another tumbled crystal. Not another one, a tumbled crystal for this box. I'm gonna give it a wild guess and say it's a red jasper. Again, we will make certain of what it is when we read the information pamphlet. Cool. Uh, we also have, ooh, this feels heavy, dense and heavy. What do we have in here? 
I love this little baggy thing, this little satchel, sachet. It moves around in it. All right, I wanna show you first the little baggy. That's nifty. Whatever in there is very dense. It's like a rod and it moves around. Oh, it doesn't move around. It has, where are you? Oh. I bet this is a little block in here that covered up the little stabby stabby of it. <laughs> so it didn't poke through the little bag. And I believe that is for candle carving. Yes, little styrofoam piece so that you don't get stabbed when you pull this out. I'm theorizing that this is used for candle carving. So you can carve intentions or sigils or specific things into it, which is why they included these sigils. Hmm, love that. I'm guessing, I'm not certain. I've made my own with like beadwork and like this giant needle thing. But this is fancy and pointy. If it wasn't so like, oh yeah, very pointy. Uh, <laughs> if you work with blood magic, that could also be of use. If it wasn't so pointy, I'd use it as a hairpiece, but I will injure myself with that. Okay, I like that. I like that. And we have, you think it's going to be a book or a journal? Give it a wild guess. Wild guess before, before it takes me an eternity to untie this thing and open it. What do we got? I think Let's see if I'm right. Aha! It is a book. Ooh, Book of Candle Magic by Madame Panita. Candle Spell Secrets to Change Your Life. Very cool. This book is showing up way more purple on camera than in person and I love it. I mean, it's a very, very dark purple here, but it's very like purpley purple on camera. Hmm. Going to open up a couple pages so that you can see the inside of it. Speaking of books, I have a little book club that we meet on YouTube once a month and we vote on which book we're going to be reading next. So if you want to check that out, you can either visit my website. I have information on when our next meeting is and which book we're reading, or I can link up here the last book club we had. So if you're into witchy books and witchy studies and you want to join the little community, that likes witchy books and witchy studies, come on down. Awesome. Cool. I love books. That's great. All right. That is it for this box. Going to, where's your little cap thingy? Did I put it back in here? I did. So when I go to put this stuff away, I don't hurt myself. I'm very accident prone. Yeah. I'm the type of person, like I'm pale enough, or like not enough, I'm very pale. So bruises show up really easy on me. And I'm very clumsy and accident prone. So I get a lot of bruises that I have no idea where they came from. So it's always a mystery. 
Let me know if you were someone like that in the comments because I know I'm not the only one. And it is an amusing thing and a struggle all at the same time. All right, the information about this book. We have Scribe of Manifestation. Ooh, Candle Magic Edition. After the darkness, the chaos, the uncertainty, we step into 2023 with a renewed sense of purpose and urgency. My video's a little late, sorry. We're working to refill our creative and magical vessels to sustain us in the months of growth ahead. This very special and exclusive collection comes to the perfect comes at a perfect time where our hopes and intentions start to cultivate upon the horizon of unlimited opportunity. Horizons of unlimited opportunity are every day, not just at the beginning of the year. These coming months are a time to write, paint, craft, and create. Any month is. We reclaim our spark of inspiration through magical workings and the unwavering brightness of candlelight. May the tools within this collection ignite the fire that burns within your magical intention, bringing your hopes and dreams into true and real manifestations. So items in this box are as follows. We have the hardcover book of candle magic by Madame Panita. Then we have the exclusive candle magic book of shadows artwork, set of three white intention candles. It does not, at least I don't see it glancing over it. Give me like, what's the, the size name of the candle? If you know it, let me know down in the comments below. Then we have the exclusive Witch's Moon Leaf Design Brass Candle Inscribing Tool with Hand Sewn Sleeve. See what I mean by like handcrafted things? They are so wonderfully unique and it's amazing. We have the Manifestation Sigils Book of Shadows reference artwork. Bright of Candlelight Spell Page Book of Shadows. We have Enhanced Magical Anointing Oil that has lime, ginger, frankincense, and cinnamon basil herbs, as well as a garnet crystal chip. Then we have pimento or allspice. Herb, we have clove and bay leaf. Then there's the eye of gold ritual sacred salt, which has basil oils, rosemary, rosemary lemon balm herbs. Then red jasper. Yes. So like, I'm at 75% accurate. Then there's the Dragon's Blood Ritual Incense Sticks, Personalized Oracle Reading, and Book of Shadows Blank Page Parchment Paper. Awesome. That's a good box. I really like that um, candle carving tool. That is very, very nice. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Scoot you off to the side. Where is it gonna feel like it's least amount of looming over me? Oh, dropping stuff. Okay, we're good. On to the last box, the Witch's Bounty. I wonder what kind of beautiful pendant we have for this month. And it is with the Shungite Crystal. Nice. Oh, no, 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 way ahead. Sorry, starting off with the artwork. <laughs> I don't know why, that maybe because I was dealing with that paper. So that is not a muscle memory response of opening that up first. Okay, come on out. Please. There we go. Take them out of the little packets so there will be way less glare for when I show it to you. Beautiful artwork and information based around the crystal for this month. Okay. Dig through these things and see what we have in here. Right, starting off with a candle. That is a very nice, pretty yellow candle. And I am gifted someone's hair. Oh, it is like all rolled up in there. It's kind of gross. Oh no. Someone's very long hair. Oh my God. Okay. I 
got an extra in the box. Whoops. <laughs> so we have this nice wax candle with a little extra. I don't want the extra. Um, on to the stinky sticks. We have earth sage. Ooh. Let's see what this smells like. It smells like sage. I like that. It's kind of faint, but it smells pretty nice. They look the same. <laughs> we have a cord that comes with every box so that you can use it for your pendant. There's also a tumbled crystal in here. Ooh. I think this is a shungite. Yes, it's very light. I do believe it's a shungite. And just because there's an artwork on the Shungite does not mean that's the kind of crystal that we get. The artwork is associated with the crystals involved in the pendant. So that might be the crystal, which is most likely the case, but I'm not guessing it because of the artwork. The art well, it's helping me anyways, but my speech is over. <laughs> All right, we have the oil here. This is Protection Aura. Ooh, that's a nice one to have. Okay, I'm trying to remember the name of what this smells like. There's a little bit of mintiness to it. I cannot name what else is in here. It's like minty and sweet a little bit, but not like a candy type of sweet, more like an herbally floral type of sweet. I can't think of the name. Okay. Last but not least, we have a very nice jewelry piece. And their box is always so squishy. I love their boxes. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, I love this. This is a very nice piece. I also love the darker silver color of this. Come on. And this has a Black Spinel Elite Shungite, Sterling Silver. That is a very nice piece. I like the goddess or the moon symbols around it. And the other side. I like the pendant. It is a very nice pendant. Cool. All right, so. Awesome things, great box. All the boxes have been great. I love it. <laughs> then we have the information pamphlet, which I'm now getting to proper, proper order. All right, so we have the Witch's Talisman. Within our craft, we truly focus on the connection we have with everything that surrounds us, how we resonate with the energies of nature, how we call upon these energies to bring protection and guidance, and how we best serve these energies in our daily practice. As we draw down spiritual light, we learn to manipulate these energies in a way that binds us to natural essence of life. In this truly stunning and bewitching collection, all of them. We call upon protective and fortifying tools as we take on the challenge that stand on the path ahead. So we have the Shungite with Black Spinel um, for Crescent Moon Talisman. A specific type of Shungite used within this pendant is Elite Shungite, known for its vibrant, shiny silver surface and for consisting of more than 90% carbon. Ooh, cool. Then we have the Protective or Magical Anointing Oil. 
that has lavender, cedarwood, myrrh, as well as peppermint and sage. It has a quartz crystal chip in it. We have the Earth Sage Ritual Incense Sticks, Natural Glow Hand Rolled Spell Candle, a little bit of extra, Illy Shungite Stone to accompany you on your path. Carry the stone with you throughout your day or place upon your altar to break away from anxiety and fatigue. Then we have the Shungite Goddess Book of Shadows artwork. Awesome. So that was a nice box. Definitely like the pendant of it. I always like the pendant of it. <laughs> so these are the three boxes for the Witch's Moon, their whole entire January collection. Let me know what is your favorite item in each one of these boxes. So pendant, hands down. Then in this box tea i love the smell of that tea <laughs> and then the final which is moon box i love the um, carving tool for the candles so those are my three favorites let me know what your three favorites are and that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed hanging out with me as much as i enjoyed hanging out with you and sharing all the magical goodies here don't forget to like, subscribe, the whole shebang. We have tons of magical fun here. And if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, let's do a moon emoji down in the comments section below for the little crescent moon thingies part of the pendant. And with that, I shall see you on the next video. Love you all. Bye.